hello guys welcome again to my channel so our today's video topic is how to add image field to category so like we need to add image field here while adding category and also if we are on edit screen of category our image field should appear here so let's say how we can do this so this is the blog our the uh, on the same topic and you will find link of this blog in the description below so let's add the plugin which allow us to add image field to our taxonomy uh, i'm installing advanced custom field yeah install now and activate it Now I go to setting page of plugin. Yeah. So click on add new. So let's give some name here. Uh, category field. As we are going to add fields for our category page. Now uh, we are going to add category image. So I keep it name category image. Field name will appear automatically on the basis of field label. From field type, I choose image. Now here I choose image object. Now here I will need to add conditions like our taxonomy term is categories. If you have multiple taxonomy, they will appear here and you can choose whatever your criteria uh, next thing is yeah nothing to configure more so i click on publish now if i go to category page our image field should appear on the page here you can see uh, if i go on edit screen we also got our image let's add one image Yeah, here we go. Now uh, update it. Very simple of adding field using advanced custom field plugin. Now next thing is we need to display that image on the front end. So for that we need to add code this is the documentation page of uh, plugin and you will get the code from there how to add on it in front end let's see it in so this is my category.php file when we view the categories on the front end this file get automatically called now let's click on view now this is the my category page and i need to add yeah this code i just paste it our goal is to display our uploaded image on front end so for that i am adding this code Next thing is copy this one and paste it. Now to the first parameter we will pass our fill name which is here. Now this function will return image object. If you print it, you will see it in action. Let me print it and we got our array like this. And here you will find the image path, full image path. You will find thumbnail, medium size images 
large size images and you can choose any one type of image as per your requirement. So let's use the IMG tag and pass the source of our image file. We use the full image like image of URL. Now yeah. Now if I refresh it, I will able to see my image. Here we go. Now yeah. This is about if we are on category page, but sometimes we need to display this image on our custom template. So how we can do this? So for that, for custom template, yeah, we need to write little bit different code. This is the format you can get from their documentation and also from our blog. So I copy this code. Yeah. So on your custom template page, you need to code like this. You need to pass your term ID. In our case, it is seven. If we go to backend on mouse or off edit, you can see it is seven. So I'm passing seven. You can pass whatever your category ID is. So in my case, it is three. Sorry, it was not seven. It is three. So yeah. So if you are using uh, taxonomy, you can you need to pass whatever here. Now I refresh it. I got this same image. So it's all about today's tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.